Hey guys, um, today I'm going to unbox a uh, binary domain for the Xbox 360. I picked this up on eBay along with uh, four other games the other night. I went a bit crazy, but um, I'm trying to catch up on a lot of the games that I missed um, on this generation before we go on to the next generation um, of consoles at the end of the year, most likely. Um, uh, I'll show you the front cover. Not really the best front cover. I really like the, the design for the, the logo, but the actual cover is not really that good. Um, there's the spine and the back, of course. Um, this game didn't really sell well. I think it was... I think a, a lot. the cover looks quite cheap. Um, it doesn't give you the impression it's like a, a big budget game and... Um, I don't know, it just got... It just got overlooked, I think, at the time it came out. There was too many other good games. Um, at the time, though, I really... I played... I always download the demo for any new game, even if I'm not interested in it, just to try it out. Because um, it's free, so I might as well. And um, I really liked the demo, but at the time there was just so many other games coming out. And I've got a list of games that I keep... that I pass by. You know, the likes of... Um, Dead Space 2 and 3, I've still not played them. Um, Binary Domain, you know. Uh, a few of the ones that I picked up, which I, I won't mention just now because I'll make a video for that um, the other night. Um, because there's just too many games. Are you And there's no point in buying two games at the same time and paying full price. Because, for example, if I bought this when it just came out along with another game, I wouldn't have had the chance to play it. And by the time I would have had the chance to play it, you know, the price has dropped on this game, so... I got this for six pound, brand new and sealed, and yeah, it's it was overlooked by a lot of people, and I think pretty much because some of the reasons I mentioned, but also um, there's just so many good games coming out these days, and low budget games that don't have you know a big uh, a, that don't get advertised really well, and maybe people just looked at the cover or and just thought you know it doesn't look that good and passed it by but when you actually play it it's a really fun uh, third person shooter um, I really like the way that the robots take damage and everything in the game um, I, I like the way the all the, the detail and all the bits of armor starts peeling off them and falling to the floor and they still crawl around even if their legs have been blown off and stuff and you have to really destroy every last bit of them to kill them I thought it was quite cool in the demo at least um, yeah, we'll just move Ian Malcolm out of the way a little bit and the knife. Um, yes, it is. I've showed you the cover on the inside. This is what it looks like the game disc. Hopefully, we'll get a coloured manual. Back in the manual. Nothing really there. Uh, nope, not a coloured manual, but there is. It's quite thick, so now nah, well, it's not really anything great, but. Doesn't matter. But yeah, this is just one of those games that I passed up and I had to go back and play because I got it for six pounds on eBay. I bought um four other games um while I was searching the other night. They'll likely come tomorrow and the next day and I'll put them all in the video of recent pickups. Um but yeah, that's the unboxing for Binary Domain. This is Ian Malcolm. And um the the great thing about um going about this generation is there's so many games that you, you've missed out on and to go and pick them up now, for example, two of the games I picked up that are going to be in this next video, I got them for like three pound and four pound, which is really nothing. You know what I mean? It's just, and there's there's nothing wrong with the games. You know, they're 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 amazing games when they came out. You know, the ones you'll see when I get them. But um, just because they've been out for so long, the price is down because everyone goes on the new thing, and it's just great to sometimes go back and catch up on some of the older games you missed and. I, that's why I really hope that the next generation does continue, you know, allow you to use used games and stuff because it's impossible for people to buy every game, you know, if they set them at the full retail price. It's not good, you know, if you, if you can go into a used game shop and you can play a couple of games and maybe then, you know, if you play some of the games that you passed by, like this one, maybe next time um, this company makes a game I might pick it up on the on the day if I really enjoy this game so much after picking it up for a cheap price 
um, thinking that I didn't want to pay full retail price for it, I might pick it up and then the next time if like Binary Domain 2 comes out and I've really enjoyed this after playing it, I might go, hey I want to pay full price for that, I, I don't want to wait a few months, I really want to play that now, because I enjoyed the first one so much. So it can benefit the companies and if they think about it like that, but yeah, really cool game. I, I, I love anything that's got that logo on there, that's my childhood, all in that, in those four little letters right there. That's my childhood. Anything. Sega have published so many great games this generation. Um, the thing about the games Sega have published this generation, lots of them seem to be overlooked and they seem to be not selling poorly, but just not selling extremely well, apart from like the big Sonic titles and stuff. And I, there's, a, there's a couple other Sega games that I've got coming um, because I just love anything they do. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, Ian Malcolm will say goodbye now, goodbye, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.